Ever look at your smartphone and think, man, one screen just isn't enough? If so, LG's fall follow-up flagship might just be the phone for you. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, here with a first look at the LG V10. It might not be as straightforward a name as the Pro line it replaces, but anyone who follows engines knows a V10 is a pretty big beast, and so is this phone. It masses almost 200 grams, and its casing is made of a scratch-resistant silicone built atop a 316L stainless steel frame and etched with a crosshatch pattern for added grip. The material plus the mass make the V10 feel almost like it's designed for a construction site. But at 8.6 millimeters thick, it's nowhere near as chunky as one of those. The most LG will guarantee is that it'll hold up to a four foot drop, and the flexibility of the backplate makes me believe it. Underneath is a removable 3000 milliamp hour battery and a micro SD expansion slot, which can take the 64 gigs of onboard storage up to an additional two terabytes if you want to get spendy. The most noticeable of the V10's assets is its so-called second screen, a 160 by 1040 extension of the main display at the top of the phone. It's actually part of the same physical panel, which is a big bright IPS quantum display at Quad HD resolution, but the second screen is controlled by an independent display driver and backlight controller, which allows it to act independently of the main display. In some ways, this is really handy. Unless you disable it, the second screen stays lit all the time showing you the date and the time and your waiting notifications, or if you prefer, a custom signature. There's also some intelligent use of the added space here for camera shortcuts and convenience toggles, which are meant to help you do things like multitask and control music playback without needing to power up the rest of that big 5.7 inch display. That's smart, but the second screen's location at the top of the display is puzzling. I'd like to have seen it placed below the screen to make for easier one-handed use. We'll see how it goes when the time comes for a full review. Alongside that second screen is another of the V10's set-offs, dual front-facing cameras that can provide a wide-angle selfie of up to 120 degrees with their powers combined. We've seen wide-angle selfies like that before, but the use of two sensors instead of a single wide-angle lens lets the V10 avoid the fishbowl effect and it makes for some fun viewfinder tricks too, if you fire up all three cameras simultaneously. The main camera is the same as on the G4, which means it's one of the best, if not the best, camera currently available on a mainstream Android smartphone. Video is the central focus of this device. Now you can specify frame rate, ISO, and aspect ratio, and you can tell it which of the phone's three microphones you want to emphasize for audio pickup. There's also a wind filter built into the software to make outdoor recording a little easier. It's that pro-level stuff that really impresses me. LG makes a big deal out of the phone's ability to auto-generate highlight videos for social sharing and so on, but that's nothing really new as far as the landscape as a whole is concerned. The V10 goes on sale in Korea this month and in the US come November, with other markets following thereafter. It'll be available in five colors, and we know at least one model will be coming to Verizon Wireless. It'll launch with Android Lollipop overlaid with LG's custom skin, and the company told us to expect a Marshmallow update early next year. Yeah, it's a little disappointing, but with a Snapdragon 808, four gigs of RAM, the top shelf cameras, and a fancy display bringing some fun features, this looks to be a much more exciting phone than its G Pro predecessors ever were. Somewhat clunky design aside, LG might just have itself a fall flagship worth drooling over. To find out for sure, keep your eyes on Pocket Now in the coming weeks for our full review. Be sure to check out our other hands-on from today, also from LG, the first Android Wear smartwatch with a cellular radio. And buttons! Lots of buttons! Be sure to follow Pocket Now on social media and follow me at Captain Two Phones. Until next time, this has been Michael Fisher from New York City. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.